Sirius XM Shade 45 Control Law Destroy I Am Destroy Salute to all the superheroes That Stan Lee DC Comics has created I and we are very fortunate That hip hop has given us A superhero Like Benny Bravo Yes sir The butcher coming You know what it is Yo bro So uh You know We was big on Benny Bravo For like how long that was that was a while ago, man. That was my first like it's Benny the Butcher now, but that was my first Benny. It was Benny Bravo. Yeah. You know and I'm saying the, the the rip from Benny Blanco from the Bronx. See yeah. what I did? Yeah, I seen that. See what I did? Bravo. Was that inspired also by Johnny Bravo and Benny Blanco Master Mix? It was. It was because a guy that I looked up to, his name his name is uh Black Blood Martin. You know I'm saying he he was like one of the best rappers that I ever known in my fucking life. And he was and uh, he was Cellmates with Saigon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is before I even, you know what I'm saying? He gave me that name. He was like, I hang with dudes like the Benny Blanco type. And then I'm like, yo, I took that name, but I switched it to Bravo. Best ever in New York. Mm, you, that was you, my second one. And you realized that after? I realized that after. That's what my That was an acronym for my name. <laughs> and I'm like, that shit dope. <laughs> Definitely. And I ran with it, man. And then, then I started getting motion in the city. Started getting me some jewelry. Then it was Two Chain Benny Main. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? And then it was the mayor, the Two Chain Benny Main, the mayor. And then, and then out of prison, I dropped all that nonsense, and I was just Benny. Now it's Benny the Butcher, man. Man, salute to a Bill Nye the Science Guy, Twister, Jean Grey, and Badass. You know what you got in common with them? Go ahead. Happy birthday, man. Oh, word? Yeah, the 27th, man. Y'all, That's crazy. Y'all all share the same birthday. So, Gene Gray. Gene Gray, the MC. Yeah, what, what, man? Oh, word. Yeah, making records. Sagittarius, we we, we could rap. Yeah. We could rap. <laughs> you might know as, as a Sagittarius named uh, Sean Carter. You might have heard of him. Holy shit. <laughs> you might have heard Holy of him. Holy moly. In a house with so many individuals, siblings, eight of them. Uh-huh. How'd you lose your virginity, fam? <laughs> Well, this is crazy. I almost can't tell that story because she married now. I mean, you know what happens with kids? Uh, but I do remember my first time. I didn't, like, when I was nothing, I didn't know what the fuck it was. I'm like, what's that? Hmm. But when I was 15, all the way till I was 20, I had, a, I had a girlfriend who was 10 years older than me. Yeah. She used to, some, she used to come sign me out of school when I got suspended. Yo. Uh, she, gave me, she gave me a check. That was the first time a woman gave me some money. It was her check. I couldn't cash it or nothing. She just gave me possession of it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I was full stem card on lock. Look at this. You know what I'm saying? My first apartment with her. You know, I was I was doing some things. You know what I'm saying? This turned to like the ho- some Howard nice. Stern shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Salute Farrell Munch. We mm-hmm. went on tour and we were rocking and then out of nowhere he leaves the tour. Mm. We wake up waiting for him at the bus and he don't show up and we're kind of getting nervous. Mm. And then he left a message at the lobby that he left because uh, his asthma was fucking with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had some incidents too, man, where you had to like stop some shit as well, huh? Man, recently, uh, when I was just overseas on tour, I was in Greece. Mm-hmm. I was in an emergency room in Greece and I was fucked up. Uh same thing in Mexico. I went to Mexico. I didn't been in. I didn't been in international emergency rooms uh, taking medicine. Mm-hmm. In Mexico, I realized they 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 the doctors can give you more medicine than the U.S. doctors can. So it had me all juiced up on shit. <laughs> uh, in Greece, it, it it was like that emergency room. It was crazy. They gave me a shot. They really couldn't find my vein. Blood squirting. It was blood on the floor and shit. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. Hell yeah. It was crazy. Then I made it out. Then I had my wife with me. They sent her to get my x-ray. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine that. They's like, yeah, could you go get this x-ray? I'm like, damn, what the fuck? She work here now? Yeah. And then I make it home. Then I'm just watching some shit on TikTok. And the dude like, yo, never go to the emergency room in Greece. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I lived through some shit. But, you know, asthma is a real thing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to get better with it. You know what I'm saying? With being so busy and keeping track of my medication and things like that. And You know what I mean? It's, if you got asthma, man, be careful. Take care of yourself. MC Hammer used to sell hot dogs, mm-hmm. you know, and then they gave him money to start his own independent label. Mm. You working for the Bills, that's cleaning a fact. up over there. That's a fact. And now you're just chilling over there. Man, that's beautiful. That's that's one of that's one of my uh that's one of my best moments or one of my best accomplishments because it's like you know you could really start somewhere. It's not about where you start. So many people be confused about that. They think it's all about where they begin at. It's not about where you begin. You can start anywhere. You know the uh, 
The janitor could be the CEO one day, and you know what I mean? That 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 fine ass girl you scared to talk to, you know what I'm saying? You could have her in your crib frying you chicken one day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be 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 ready to start somewhere. To see you at the Buffalo Bills on the field, bro. That was crazy, right? I was so happy, man. That was crazy, man. And I know I'm over here, but like Right, right, right. That was standing right on the logo, you know what I'm saying? From clean I used to clean the bathroom. Yeah. I didn't I didn't serve the food. I used to clean the bathroom in that moment. Yeah, and homegirl was like, yo, my brother was supposed to take this job and you was like Yeah, yeah, I'm happy you brought that up because sometimes I tell the story. I don't be telling the whole story to let people know what kind of person I am. I went I w- I went with this girl who I was with at the time, and, and she was like meeting this guy because her brother had a job interview. Her little brother, she was showing up with him. And her little brother did not show up. Uh-huh. And just to cover for her, I'm like, tell him I do it. And I needed the money. I mean, yeah. Act like I didn't need the money at the time. <laughs> Nigga needed the money. So I'm like, tell him I do it. And I and I done it. You know what I'm saying? I'll fuck. It's, it's the company called Jana King. I'll fuck around and buy that company right now. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? For real. I love this energy. I'm a big Buffalo Bills fan, man. Ever since uh, Coogee Rap wore Bills and the erased the racism. I remember that. I remember that. I was like, oh, I not bought a bunch of Bills shit because I mm-hmm. thought money, cash. And then I was like, oh, Bills. shit. Yeah. And my dad was like, you know they're going to go to the Super Bowl. And I was like, oh, shit. And then I just became hooked. This is the Jim Kelly years, Thurman Thomas years. Right, 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 man, right. Man, what a time, right? I love it, man. And, and uh, being a kid, growing up in those times, even though we lost the four Super Bowls, man, being a kid, <laughs> it was dope, man. You know what I'm saying? It was always Super Bowl parties, playoff parties. You know what I'm saying? Growing up smoking weed and shit, not watching us. You know what I'm saying? I loved it. I'm riding bike throughout New York City. I go to Harlem. And I see a Benny the Butcher piece on the wall or something. Mm, mm. That was amazing right yeah, there. That's crazy. Man. That that's was crazy. really good. You know what I mean? You know, you know, the city, you know, this is the home of this shit. This is where this shit happened and started at. So to get the love from here, you know, that's a different type of thing, especially yeah. when I got the mural up. Yes. It's a beautiful thing. You know yes. Did you do anything other than rapping? You try to DJ? You ever try to break dance? You try to, uh, uh, what else, graffiti? Anything? No. I never tried it. The closest... I got to anything else is the first time I uh well I used to I used to have like this this guy I used to you know what I'm saying he 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 signed me to his record label he was a street dude you know what I'm saying and we used to get money together he was way older than me and you know we we end up falling out I end up taking some drugs from him you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying so I had to buy my own studio equipment because that was over for that and then I had to work this shit myself yeah for like a good year or two you know what I'm saying. And, I never went back. I, I, I'm not good with this shit. I just go in and rap over the mic. I don't know what none of these buttons do. Was it uh, Montana Avenue days? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man. Right on the block. Yeah, tell me about uh, Ola, man. Ola uh, Malari. Man, man uh, rest in peace, Ola May Larry, man. Got her name tattooed on my arm right there. That's my grandmother. Sweet lady, man. Sweet lady. And, you know, she always took care of us. And, she she come with that tough love. She yeah. come with that tough love. That's my mom's mom, and my mom always tell me like, "Yo, my mom wasn't like how I am." You know, she, she come she's she's tough, and I and I seen her. I seen my mom. I seen my grandmother get tough on my mom. Like you have you ever seen you ever seen your grandmother check your mama? Yeah, like that's like oh, <laughs> awkward. Some other shit, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So man, shout out Ola May, man. You know, she 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 held us down. On Montana Avenue, you chilling at the house with all the homies. Then the cops yeah. come. They take 10 guns from the back. Yes, yes. They don't fuck with y'all. At all, at all. How? Because what, what my opinion is somebody told them that them guns were there, so they wasn't thinking about us. They just came to get the guns, and it was behind my house. And you know, I, I, guess, I guess dudes was using, it was like a little shed behind my house. I guess dudes was using that as a stash spot, so <laughs> we was right on the porch. Po- police walked right past us, grabbed the guns. We were like, what the fuck they doing back there? And to be honest with you, I didn't know that shit was back there. Uh-huh. I didn't know. I was younger. They knew not to tell me. I would have been stealing the motherfuckers. Wow. You know what I'm saying? They knew not to tell me. <laughs> they got right up out of there. So somebody probably told, whoever did that shit, you, you, you ain't right. I think the homies probably figured out who done it by now. In 2016, you send a DM, and uh, the DM says, how do I get on? Mm. How crazy is this, bro? Mm. <laughs> and you're motherfucking Benny the Butcher, bro. That's crazy. Right. Talk about this evolution, man. Uh man, that's just me, man. Hungry, yeah. hungry, and I use my DM. I'm not, I'm not too, I'm not too proud to DM nobody, mm-hmm. especially if it's for an opportunity, for sure, to learn, to grow. 
man, you know, man, I'm just hungry, hungry and anxious to learn and anxious to uh to network and anxious to, to, to show my worth, anxious to show that I'm a dog. You know what I'm Let's saying? Let's go. For real. And you also from the era where you take a ride out just to take a photo with somebody and come back to the crib. 100%. 100%. Yeah, just, to, just to show people that I'm working. Uh, just to show people that, you know what I mean, every day do something at work. That moves moves you towards your goal. Yeah. And everything don't take money. Everything don't take uh, a bunch of people. Everything don't take uh, uh, sitting down, thinking about it for two weeks. What can you do right now to move your career in the right direction where you don't need no money, no nothing? You can just use your phone. You know what I'm saying? And those things are tools and gifts to artists like us. So, man, I want to make sure that I'm using all of those. You know what I'm saying? Benny the Butcher, I want to tell you something. Mm -hmm. I hear you speak a lot mm -hmm. from doing my homework. Right. You got a book in you. Mm. Is this the first time it's, it hits your head, or you've kind of no, no, no. About I got this? A, I got a title for it already. Pieces of a brick. I just ain't write a page. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got a title because you're right. I, I like to read books, and I always was good at English. You know what I'm saying? I know all the all the rappers and the trappers say, "Our oh, math is mine." I was good at English literature. That was yeah. my thing for sure, for sure. I got to get in a good space to write it. Yeah. Especially before one of these uh. For one of the, my ex floozies write it and yeah. get to, before, before, before that I'm trying to get a tell all book, I gotta tell it first. Yeah, man. The <laughs> you know fuck is up with this, man? Definitely, man. <laughs> everybody can't go. I grew up in this game, you know, throughout time I just started evolving and realized that people just go away. Yeah. You know, yeah. naturally. Right. Nothing personal. It just happens. Evolution happens. Right. Mm -hmm. Something that's hard for me is to let go. Mm -hmm. Help me through that with this. Everybody can't go uh, philosophy you have. Man, it, it's it's hard for me too, but you know what I'm saying. I I just got to a point where, you know, you know, I don't I don't want no I don't want to I don't want to take the blame for nobody, for for anything that happened around me that I that I can't control. Mm -hmm. I can't have people around me that I can't control. For one, and uh, you know, it it's, it's, it takes discipline, and, and and I want better for myself, and it's, and it's to a point like this when people hear me talking about everybody can't go. I want people in my life yeah. who's listening to this interview to be like, is this nigga talking about me? Yeah. Because he haven't called me in a couple of weeks. And I might be talking about them. And there's no shade and no nothing. It's just saying that, you know what I mean, if we're going to continue to if we gonna continue to, to rock with each other, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to expect things, you know what I'm saying, in, in a friendship. You know what I mean? You know how people say, like, you know, we just cool for nothing. Like, if, if we're friends... I expect things, you know what I'm saying? Especially in the business and the game that I'm in. This is it's an overwhelming business. It, it fucks with your mental health. Yep. Uh, you know what I'm saying? People might look at the things that I got and, and, and might call me and ask me for 20000 or some shit like that. But it's like, you don't know what kind of month I had. You don't know what kind of week I had. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't know what's going on. You don't know who I owe. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like, man, I'm, I'm, I need to surround myself. I'm, I'm making art. Yeah, I need to are. make the best art. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I need to surround myself around people that 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 pour into me. And when people can't pour into you, man, you know you gotta you gotta you know what you gotta do. They can't go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're doing big things. If we were sitting around on a couch pitching quarters, that's nothing. But nigga, we 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 making history every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying we need that type of energy. Benny the Butcher, that's his name. Yes. Yeah, Benny. This dude, uh, Benny, would go in DMs and send people for opportunities. And one of those moments, though, that seemed different. Mm -hmm. Was you seeing Emory Jones and mm -hmm. not saying anything to him? Tell me the two. It's a different nature when you locked. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying because because right now E is like planes. You know what I'm saying? Rock Nation. He's like you know what I'm saying. You could you could tell what type of person type of type of time he on. But you know I I didn't when I first met him. I didn't know what type of time he was on. You know this is a prison facility. Yeah, I know who he is. I just gave him his space. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it was people in that spot who didn't give him his space. I never wanted to be one of them guys, but um, I admired him. I admired him from afar because you know, through 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 the stories, honestly, through the th through the stories of my favorite rapper. But then getting to meet the man and the myth and get to kick it with him and understand the way he think, I'm like, okay, that's why him and Hov click like that. They really uh -huh. on the same type of time. Like I'm on the same type of time as those guys. So. Yeah. And I mean, you know, that's big bro right now, for sure. I love it, man. Now, uh, conflicted, man. Mm -hmm. It happened, but I feel like you trying to step more into that film game? Yeah, I got to. Benzel Washington, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, him. man, you see what I did with that? Tell him. And it's like, man, you know, I, I like acting. It's therapeutic. Mm -hmm. It's more therapeutic than the music to me because, like, you get on the microphone and you just say how you feel. Like, in movies, you act it out. You could scream. You could slap the shit out of somebody. Yeah. And they'd be like, all right, do it again. You know what I'm saying? So it was definitely therapeutic, and, and, and 
I liked it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm taking more shots at it. Would you give the same advice uh, Hove gave you to another artist for Double XL? Yes, yes, because up and coming, you get you get provided these opportunities, and you don't know if they're good or not. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You think they're good, but you don't know. Like somebody's trying to throw you scraps. Yeah, it's okay to say no. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't going nowhere, especially if you working hard, you on your job. That that's not going to be my only opportunity to 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 be in that magazine. So make sure uh, it's on my terms. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I took from that. You've been releasing a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. What makes a Def Jam release different for Benny? Uh, f- for to be honest with you, uh, on the surface, the rollout is bigger. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying the rollout is bigger, and a, and a bigger rollout mean a, a bigger audience, a, a, a wider reach. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything is more more calculated. It's meticulous. Uh, people people say this is is more hands in a pot. When I say more hands in a pot, you know, some some people think of that think of that as a negative thing, not for me. Yeah. I need I need everybody working on this. I need everybody helping me working towards the same goal. I need Rock Nation. I need Dev Jam. I need Griselda. I need uh serious you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you did it on your own so you know the work ethic. Exactly. Yeah. I didn't I didn't I, I'm trying to do to do things, to get things you never got, you gotta do things you never done. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all heard that before and then, and it's one of them things, man, and I'm just trying to uh I'm just trying to have a longer reach, and I'm just trying to have a longer run, and it was time for that, man. Shout out Dev Jam. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, Met the Man and Red Man have uh, white Air Force Ones on their rider. Mm-hmm. You could use that, fam. I can. I might. That's what. That's my damn problem. I'm already showing up with 10 pairs of them bitches. Come on, fam. Write that down, Harlem. Come on. No, just, I mean, write that down. No, it's, it's, a, it's a real thing. No, and the right. reason why I bring this up is because... That's all I people. wear. That's all I wear is all-white And then white what do you Force do after Force. you fucking perform in the sneakers? I throw, them, I throw them away. I throw them away. I, I, was, I was out shopping with my sister the other day, and I bought a few pairs. She's like, you just bought some yesterday. And I'm like, that was yesterday. Yeah. She like, she's like, bro, stop. Who's the genius at the merch table, merch table who says, hey, hold on. We That's City those. Boy. It's my boy City Boy. Every time when he found out that I'm throwing them away, he like, nigga, sign those and let's sell them at the merch table. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Eureka. And I'm saying, good idea, man. Good idea. And let's split that 90-10. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 90 my way, baby. You know what I mean? For real. But you know what? I got to put them Air Force Ones on my writer because right now, I just got Duchess and uh, Peanut Butter and Jelly on there. Yeah? Yeah. I'm yeah, saying. bro. PB and J for me. You got to see Buster Rhymes' ring room. It's amazing. Oh, I was in it. I, yeah, I, he's got I, everything. I almost went grocery shopping in his green it's room. A, it's, I, you're right. For real. It's you a whole lying. situation. Dead ass. Real like, shit. Oh, shit. You can put this shit on your right Shit, they ain't even want. He's just testing it out. Yeah, just you know to see saying? if they can do it. If, if sure. they'll do it. How great is it to have a, a, a good relationship that you're in with your lady, uh, understanding this, the nature of this wild ass industry? I mean, it's beautiful. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Me and India have been together for 10 years. Mm-hmm. So she was with me when... I was running the streets, getting money, thinking I was the man. She was with me when all of that slowed up and I was broke and fucked up. Ain't know what I was going to do next. Uh-huh. Uh, she was with me when I got with Griselda to now. So it's like we're in it together. And I think, you know what I mean? You know, I, I'm just speaking on my situation. It's like it's easier for me like that. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be able to like to be with like a woman who, who, who met me today as I am. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who don't know the things about me? Who don't know that like when I like struggle I, exactly? Yeah, like India is right there in the hospital with me when I'm when you know I'm saying when when these asthma attacks. True, she had the hotel room right now. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. she's with me, so I need somebody that's invested in me. So you know what I mean? Shout out to India, man, and, and that's super important for your for your lady to know you and know how you move and be your friend as well. For sure, man. Uh, Benny the Butcher here, ah. guys. Everybody can't go. There's a lesson there. You know, growing up, mm-hmm. Benny the Butcher wasn't easy. Yeah, Forcing but, all that shit. No, it, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. You know what I'm saying? And and I had a. I, I really grew up hard, but school was almost a school was almost like a you know, a release for me. I always yeah. got the good grades in school. Always to the day that I dropped out, I don't even know why the fuck I left. Shit. But even in prison, I was a I was a tutor in prison. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I went when I went back to do, take my GED. I took the first test, and they was like, "We just gonna give you the final test because you advanced." So school always been something that I like. I love learning. Look at this, man. I'm a collector, man. I'm really pissed off because right before I left the house, I had your lunchbox right right at Ooh, my living room. the lunchbox, the nice fuck! ten lunchbox. Yeah, bro. The construction worker lunchbox. The fuck lunchbox. is 
piss me the fuck off, man. His name is Benny the Butcher. He's a good human being. I'm so excited to see him succeed. Every day I see him shine and it makes me happy. Keep going, my bro. Man, appreciate you, man. You know that. Thank you so much for being amazing. Appreciate you, man. Everybody can't go, my boy, destroying. He's a good human being, too, motherfuckers. <laughs> Control all destroy life is amazing when you're with superheroes, man. <laughs> Fire right there, man.